What's up guys, this is Matt, or MD Artwork as some of you probably know me. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial because of our new t tutorial channel that we've launched called Archifex Toots. And someone on here, Team Angry Ghast, requested a professional text tutorial in, on, in Cinema 4D. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. Here is what I've knocked up. It's just some text with a reflector, some lighting, and a reflective material on it. So yeah it's looking pretty nice with the shadows and that so I'm just gonna make a new uh, new scene and show you how I did it right first MoGraph, MoText pretty obvious gonna bring it into the middle by aligning it in the middle and gonna write Archifex all in capitals go to the font I'm gonna choose Claren Clarendon HVBT and set the depth to 150. Something I'm going to do to get rid of these um, square edges at the top, I'm going to go to caps, fillet cap, and set the radius to 1, steps to 5, and do that for both of them. Make them nice and round. Then I'm going to add a floor. Go, click, on, click and hold on light, add floor. And I'm going to bump the I'm going to bump, bump the text up 20 centimeters, so it's a little bit off the floor. Then, if you have a look at this now, if you press Control R to render it, all you've got is a fairly dull looking floor and a bit of text with horrible lighting and harsh shadows. This is because it's the auto light in Cinema 4D, which occurs when you have no lighting. So now we're going to add a material, new material, by double clicking on the material box, which is here drag it on, uh, go to material options then I'm going to take reflection and then go to color set that to 30-ish for each one then reflection I'm going to set it to 25%-ish then go to Fresnel uh, set that to about the same 25-24 and go to specular set that to metal and that's looking okay it's a nice colour, at least. Um, but yeah, now we need the lighting. So I'm going to do a spotlight. Drag that in. Then rotate it so it's looking at the text. Uh, move that around, move it up. Point it down a little bit. And you want to scale it up so it's covering all of the text and a bit more. Like so. I'm also going to move it back a bit. Then in the options I'm going to set the intensity to 125, shadow to shadow map soft. I'm not really going to do the lighting in detail because that's that will need to be done in a different tutorial. It's just going to show you the text really. Um, sh yeah, spot, shadow maps, and then click it, control C, control V, and rotate that round. So we get another one over here make this one a type, go to type and then set it to area shadow set it to area as well and then scale up so we don't get like harsh shadows that's basically what that square does if you make it big you get hard, you get soft shadows make it small you get hard shadows um, but again I'll cover that in a different video right and lastly the backlight move it around to the back so it's brightening up the, t the back of it a bit and rotate that oh. rotate that a bit just so it's pointing at the text set it to uh, Omni and shadow type I'll leave. I'll put it on shadow map soft also the intensities I've done them wrong you need to do for this one you do the lowest intensity so like 70% for this one I'll do it a bit higher, say 190 <coughs> and see what that looks like okay so that looks pretty nice actually it's got some, it's got good shadowing, good lighting um, the text is well lit up and it looks pretty good yeah so I'm gonna add a reflector as well to get some highlights on the top edge of it 
Uh, yeah. Nope. Go to a cube. Go to the cube and do plain. Uh, stretch it out so it's, it pretty much fits the text and a bit more. Then put it in the middle of the text and drag it up so you can't see it. And make another material. Uh, go to luminance. Tick that. Drag it onto the plane. And then render it. See what it looks like. Okay, so that's it. You can see we've got some nicely lit text. It's got a bright, a nice bright edge on the top. And yeah, I'd say it looks professional. So that's about it. Alright, see you next time.